Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And um, I just want to reflect back on the general lady's comment. She referred to this as a mean-spirited amendment, and I, I would say it's the furthest from that. I mean, uh, Mr. Nunley is clearly not a mean-spirited person, nor the intent of this amendment. Um, the, the, the amendment itself is, is really about promoting life. I mean, what is so mean-spirited about promoting life? And so I want to thank the gentleman uh, from Mississippi for his amendment. Uh, Mr. Serrano uh, made a good point about uh, the Affordable Care Act and Supreme Court's ruling and uh, the intent of the majority party to repeal it. And, and I appreciate your forecast of what the elections may be in November, uh, as uh, you, you seem to predicting, be predicting that we may have that opportunity to do that. Uh, but what you have also pointed out is that back when this act was passed, there was the Stupac Amendment. There was this um, movement at that time to protect life uh, because there was questions of what uh, the Affordable Care Act would do. And to resolve that, that question, the President himself issued uh, an executive order saying that in no way would life or would, would abortions be covered by taxpayers under that act. But now we're finding there is again an unintended consequence in the Affordable Care Act. So I would urge my colleagues to support this amendment, support Mr. Nunley, who I think uh, is the furthest thing from mean-spirited, but uh, a gentleman who's promoting a great cause, and that's the cause of life. 